Okay, today we're going to be talking about factoring a quadratic expression using three different ways. The, f the first way is going to be by finding the greatest common factor. This is the equation 4x squared plus 24x minus 32. I already started this one and I broke down 4x squared into 4 and x squared and then I broke down x squared into x and x and I can break down 4 and 4 into 2 and 2. And 24x, I can break this down to 24 and x. Then I can break this down to 6 and 4, 2 and 2, 3 and 2. And then 32, I can break it down to 8 and 4, 2 and 2, 4 and 2, 2 and 2, and 4. Okay. I could take 2 out of each of them, or I see that there's 4 in each of them. So I'm going to take 4 out of each section and put it on the outside of the parentheses and my new equation is going to be it's going to be 4 on the outside when in parentheses it's going to be x squared plus 6x minus 8. Now I can factor just this with the 4 on the outside way easier and you'll get okay so it would be x plus 4 and x plus 2. And then if you do the FOIL method, it will get you x squared plus 6x plus 8. And that's how you use the greatest common factor to factor out a number to make this simpler to get your binomials. Okay, next one we're going to be learning about is how to factor a quadratic expression using the perfect square method. So you, if, when you look at this, you can first see that 16 is a perfect square and so is 64. So you already know that this one would be 4 times 4 and this one would be 8 times 8. So, when you set up your binomials, you just you take one of these and one of these. And put it in there. And then, take the same thing, but you do the opposite equation, the opposite sign. Because there isn't a x of b value in the middle. So, if you do minus 8 and plus 8, those cancel out. And if you do the FOIL method, you get 16x squared minus 64. Okay, now we're going to just figure out how to factor a easy case quadratic trinomial expression using the diamond method. Okay, so you need... you need to be able to multiply something together to get positive 30 but be able to add those factors together to get negative 11 so I know that my factors of 30 could be 30 and 1 10 and 3 15 and 2 6 and 5 if I add 30 and 1 together, that would give me 31. That doesn't work. This one would give me 13. This one would give me 17. This one will give me 11. So I can put 6 and 5, but it doesn't get me negative 11. 6 times 5 equals 30, but 6 plus 5 doesn't get me negative 11. So I need to be able to change my signs. And if I do that, negative 6 times negative 5 gets you 30. And 
negative 6 plus negative 5 gets you 11. So when I set up my binomials, it'll be x minus 6 and x minus 5. And that's and if you do the FOIL method, you'll get your original equation, which is x squared minus 11x plus 30. And that's it.